Ever heard of a fish that breathes air and keeps a whole river in balance? Meet the Arapaima. River giant. Scale armoured. Calm until it isn't. Two and a half metres of muscle. Tongue like sandpaper. A gulp that's basically a vacuum. Surfaces to breathe every few minutes. Flashing copper green armour like a living submarine. Here's why this giant saves the river. Arapaima, keystone species. They eat fast breeding fish that would otherwise explode. Tiny kerosenes, cichlids, small piranhas. That keeps plankton crashes in check, prevents algal booms, stops downstream chaos. One gulp up here keeps the food web tidy down there tuned to a river that rises and falls. Flood season, slip into drowned forest, patrolling trees like silent bouncers. Low water, gather in oxbow lakes, clearing space so oxygen stays high. They breathe air, survive where others suffocate, buying time for the system. Parents guard their young, Dad carries the school like a dark cloud under his chin. Mum circles on alert. Predators think twice. Not just cute, recruitment, new rangers for the river. But here's the twist. Big, slow, surfacing to breathe, easy to catch. Overfishing once knocked numbers down hard. Communities flip the script. Count fish, set quotas, protect nursery lakes, harvest only when it helps the stock. Result? More arapaima, more income, healthier water. Want clear rivers? Want giants in them? Not monsters, managers. Remove the top and everything below unravels. Next time you hear that deep gulp at dusk, think reset button. One breath for the fish, one breath for the forest, one breath for the river. And if you ever visit, ask guides about community managed lakes. Choose tours that keep the giants patrolling. Healthy Amazon? It starts with a breath and a giant that saves the river.